Hi everyone, this is Sombery Medium and uh, welcome back to Terraria. So in this episode, there's one thing I'm gonna try. Uh, there's... I got meteorite when I, when I went into the underground a couple episodes ago, I think. And apparently I can get more, but uh, for that, meteorite has to fall from the sky. And there's uh, half a chance for that to happen when I break one of those crimson hearts. Uh, so half a chance each day. So I ha I'm gonna go and break one of those hearts. Hopefully it won't uh, trigger the brain of Tulu. So I'm just gonna do that so it makes a chance for a meteorite to fall. And uh, then I'll be on my way and do something else. Okay, I got one heart. Uh, we'll see, hopefully that will trigger a meteorite to fall down. I think meteorites only fall down uh, at night, so uh, it's not for now if ever that happens. Summons a heart to provide light. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, so the Crimson Heart gave me an object that allows me to have a heart following me. It's a bit gross, but it's supposed to make light, so that's something I want. Uh, also, now I'm going to go uh, in the jungle because it's a biome I haven't really explored and apparently it can have very interesting loot. So uh, I'm going to do that. There's a mini slime here. Hey, come back. Where did it go? Like maybe it, does, it doesn't seem to attack me, so maybe it can be friendly. Oh, it might be trying to attack me right now. Yeah, okay, it attacks me. I thought I could maybe catch it. Uh, first time I see a small one like that. Is this just a normal one? Pinky. Well, it's dead. Pink gel. Oh, that's new. Bouncy and sweet. Hmm, how different is it? Uh, the light from my uh, new body is... I'm not sure it's super helpful. Uh, it's still better than nothing. Okay, jungle, here I am. Is there a cavern somewhere? Yeah, there's one right here. Otherwise, I would have just had to dig. Okay, uh, it's very dark in the, in here. Oh, here's a life heart, life crystal, life crystal. I think that's the last one I can get, well, for increasing my health. There you go, 400 health, cool. Oh, there's a weird chest there. Uh, is it me or it has a key lock? Okay, now I can open it. Uh... Feral Claws is the only thing I don't really know about. IV chest. Cool, something new. Okay, so uh, what is this? There's a huge skull statue. There's another heart. I found another one uh, up too. A gloom statue. What's the shiny stuff? Jungle spores. That seems interesting. Oh, an underwater chest. Been searching for those for quite a while. I think that's the first one I found. But it didn't have flippers. Nexus Party Girl has arrived. Okay, I guess I got a new character back home. Ooh, that's different. Oh, there's honey.
That's weird. Oh, and it spawns bees. That is very weird. Oh, it slows me down too. Well, I destroyed something over there. Uh oh. There's a giant bee. Does it hurt? I don't think I can get it. Weirdly. Okay. If it doesn't get any worse than that, I should be able to defeat that thing. So is it because I came here or because I destroyed... That thing. Which, by the way, I didn't. It's my imp who did it. Okay, come back. Oh, wait, it's... It's the queen bee. Yeah, makes sense. Except you're making bees with your abdomen. It's a bit gross. Well, I wanted different things in my... Uh, by going to the jungle, I guess uh, I'm, I've got it. What's hurting me? I don't think I'm supposed to defeat it like that, but I guess I've uh, met it a bit late in the game. So, there, got it. Did it, did it give me stuff? Oh yeah, bottled honey. Is there stuff in the honey? A bunch of stuff I lost down there. Opuni, the witch doctor, has arrived. Is it just because I defeated that? In any case, I'm glad. More people back home. Uh, what's that there? Am I full? Oh yeah, I am full. What can I get rid of? Okay, I think I got everything. Um... So I've got some bee wags, some hive, a savage bee keeper. Oh, it does a lot of damage. It's very fast, so... Uh, and it summons bees? Seems like an interesting sword. Oh yeah, it's fast. I'll keep my flaming one, but... So no meteor has fallen, or it didn't warn, but I think it does. Which means I should probably break another heart. Uh, okay, uh, maybe I should get that honey. It doesn't seem like something that there's a lot of, so it might be useful. And I'm gonna go back home. With everything I just got. Alright, I think that's what I want to do. The blade of grass. Because... Because I've got a Muramasa, I've got the fiery great sword. And... Um, what else do I have? And that will allow me to make another sword with all of those four. Oh, maybe I don't crap that here. Uh, yeah, I think I need a, a crimson altar. So that's not a problem. Oh, I haven't even checked on my new people. Let me just do that. So I've got a party girl, Lexus. And she sells weird stuff. Okay. And I had a witch doctor, right? Where is he? Oh, did he appear down there? Yup. Uh, that's not for you, dude. Get out of here. Okay, he sells water fountains. Um, anyway, I'm gonna relocate him. 
don't want him to be here even though the other one can't appear yet just go in there okay now let me go to a crimson altar yes i can make the knight's edge which combines all of those blades and should be super powerful uh, is it as big? Maybe it's a bit smaller. Oh, and the one I have doesn't have any bonuses. That's super annoying. I'll go and improve that back home. Oh, and while I'm in there, I should go and break another heart. Okay, second uh, heart broken. Hopefully this time it will uh, allow for a meteor to crash. Because the next one I break will summon the brain of Tulu. And well, I should be able to fight it even easier than I did earlier. Anyway, right now I'm gonna go back home, make my sword better with the Tinker. If I find him, that's better. Does even more damage. A meteorite has landed. Okay, now I need to find it. Um, it is night, so should I go now? I'm going to. Uh, let me see. I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. Maybe I should get rid of that. I also am trying to make my house bigger uh, for storing stuff and uh, crafting stuff because my little place is uh, like the the whole level I kept for me is way too small. So yeah, I'm trying to make my place bigger. All right, let's find that meteorite. It could be anywhere, right? I have no indication on uh, which direction it could be. Okay, nothing on this side. I just hope it didn't fall into the water. I'm uh, making the assumption that uh, the meteorite like the landing site is uh, easy to um, see. Like I suppose it's going to be obvious compared to whatever other biomes I've uh, already seen before. Aha, there it is. Well, wow, right next to the temple. So thanks to my obsidian shield, I can probably walk in there. Okay, those uh, things uh, coming at me slowly are a bit annoying. They never stop. There's a lot of it, but I'm not sure how much I need. Okay, let's see what I can do with all that meteorite I uh, got. Plenty of meteorite bars, and I already had a few that I found in a chest. So, yeah, and that's basically what I want to do. I want to make the space gun and the whole armor set because, oh, another meteorite has landed, but I didn't break another heart. Anyway, if I don't have enough material, I guess I know where to go. I have enough. But yeah, the whole meteorite uh, armor plus gun allows me... The, the gun is supposed to consume magic and with the armor it doesn't. And apparently it's fast. It seems pretty fast, so yeah, using the armor, I would be able to do that forever. And it also, yeah, it can go through enemies. I don't know how many, two maybe. So against the wall of flesh, that's super useful, and apparently it's a good strategy to just use that and the armor. 
So uh, I'll keep that. It will come in handy at one point. Because I will have to go and fight the Wall of Flesh. Not going to do that in this episode though. Uh, because I also want... The Wall of Flesh moves. Uh, so from the center of the map towards uh, the outside. And I'll need to make a path. I think it's probably the smartest to make a path to avoid uh, well things that could prevent me from uh, moving back away from the wall and uh, things that would make me fall into lava so there will be a lot of work needed uh, so uh, that might be a full episode although the preparation is going to be long, but the result is going to be pretty short. I don't know, but I don't think I'll be doing that now. Right now, I'm going to finish my house. All right, I'm not done with my house, but uh, I want to do something else. So uh, I am going to go back to the dungeon. And hopefully I'll get uh, the key for the chests uh, in the underground. Uh, I also have to catch a specific fish on the surface. So uh, I'll search for that. I guess that's the place where I should fish. I'm actually going to bring that back already. Because I think it gives me something interesting. Uh, where are you? Okay, what did he give me? Hmm. Oh yeah, here. The fuzzy carrot. Oh, it summons a mount. That's even better than what I thought. Where is my mount? There we go. <laughs> oh. Ah. So I'm riding a bunny. But I can't fly anymore, and I think I can take fall damage, but I could do that already. Uh... <laughs> it's funny, but it's not as useful as, as I thought it would be. So can I... Yeah, it can show up once I'm in the air. But I can actually fly, which is better than the mount, and I already have a fall. No fall damage from the lucky horseshoe. So... It doesn't seem faster, too. Uh, maybe it is. Oh, yeah, if, if I keep going on, it seems to get faster and faster. I see. Uh, it's funny, but I probably will be more interested in uh, other mounts than the bunny. Okay, here I am, back at the dungeon. Let's find that key. Hopefully. So, the only thing I remember is that it's messy down here, but... Uh, oh, there's chests here. Oop. Golden ones. There's also a lot of enemies. But no blue key. What's that? Probably won't it. Alchemy table. That's the same thing, right? Nope. It's another one. A bewitching table. Oh, here's a blue key. Finally. That took forever. Uh, but now that I have the key, I'm gonna head back home. Okay, let's see what the fisherman wants. Since I'm here, I should do that each time, but I sometimes forget. forget. Bad fish. Bad fish. There I go. Are you gonna me give me a bat mount? Oh, if it flies, that would be cool. Uh, I got plenty of stuff. Uh, oh, I can dress as a mermaid. I'm gonna say no. 
Thank you. Okay. On my way. Okay, I'm back here. Now I have to remember where the chests are. So one should be on this side. Yep, here it is. Strong dark lands. Ah. Eh. Not the craziest thing. I think there's another one on the other side. There it is. And it's got a damaged Sun Fury. This thing even damage seems to uh, make some some damage. And it's big. A little weird. Might be an interesting weapon. Uh, I don't know. I mean, those chests haven't given me, given me super interesting stuff for now. Uh, I'm gonna head back. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm gonna try something new. So I have a few gravitation potions, which are supposed to allow me to fly higher. And I'm gonna try and find the uh, Sky Islands using that. Okay, let's use it here. Well, then that was not useful. Wait. I'll press up to reverse gravity. Oh, that's super dangerous. But cool, because I can basically visit everything. I don't see anything. I'm just looking at the map right now. Oh, found one. All right. And this time it's not just an empty island with just a lake. There's an actual chest. There's sunflowers too. So instead of talking, maybe I should get rid of the harpies and try and get the sunflowers. Oh, they give me something. Cool. Movement speed increased and monster spawn reduced. What's in the chest? That's what I was searching for. Well, it took a long time. But I've got a shiny red balloon. And I think I can uh, put it with my uh, shoes and it will allow me to go even higher. Not sure that's how it works, but uh, I think that's the idea. Okay, heading back home. It's not with that that I'm supposed to combine them, but if I use the shiny red balloon, I can already fly higher, I think. That does not seem to work. Um, I probably didn't get that because I, I can merge it with something in a jar, but since I'm having trouble finding those balloons, I'd rather mix it with the best thing in a jar, which is a sandstorm in a jar, and I haven't found that yet. So, uh, I guess I'll wait before using that. Let's try and find other islands with our uh, super potion there. Oh, here's another one. Oh, is it a giant lake again? It is. Well, whatever about this one then. Oh, and there's another one again. With sunflowers, a chest, and a little house. Oh! Savage Star Fury. Okay, there's a weird sword in there. Uh, is it something interesting? Oh, it... It makes stars fall down from the sky. 
It's... Oh, they fall where I'm pointing at. Well, with moving things, it's not very cool. It does uh, some damage, but... And what happens when I'm trying to aim? Yeah. It works only on the surface. That's a very weird weapon. Uh, let's continue flying. Actually, I might use that to swim now that I think of it. Okay, I'm over the sea. Let me see if um, I can kind of swim with that potion. Kind of, but it, it, it does take time to go over the water. Oh, and that's the end. Okay, I think I made the end of the map. Oh, I need to drink one. Otherwise, I'm gonna drown. So there's not much at the bottom of the ocean. At least on this side. Oh, there's a chest below the water. Nothing to swim. Oh, here's a flipper. That's really awesome. Uh, can I use them? But yeah, I can jump how many times I want now underwater, which is basically swimming. Okay, that's cool. That's just something I wanted to do since uh, almost the first episode. Uh, okay, I should probably stop here. I've spent way too much time on this episode. Uh, not for much. I did get a few little things I wanted to get. I got the flippers. I'm very happy about that. I didn't get the, the helmet that allows me to breathe underwater for a longer time. And that I think I can combine with the flippers. Um... I got, well, I got my little mount, even though uh, I'll probably never use it. Because uh, I can't fly when I'm using it. Which is one of the most important things about, uh, like, one of the most interesting accessories I've got. I've made my uh, Lucky Obsidian Shield, which allows me to not get knocked back and walk on fire blocks uh, I got a red balloon but it doesn't really work uh, the way I thought it would and uh, so I'll maybe next time I'll have to explore sand undergrounds to find the sandstorm in a bottle I think that's how it works I'm really not sure about that um but ultimately, I want to go uh, to the, I always forget the name of this place, but basically the lowest uh, levels in this world. Uh, make a big path where I can fight the wall of flesh and fight it. Because I, I think gear wise, I've got everything to fight it. Now it's more about the preparation, which might be a little tough. Uh, since that might take a lot of time of things I won't put in a video anyway, like just digging and putting up um, those things, I, I might delay the next episode. Uh, I'm not sure... If I'll basically make the episode once I'm ready. So uh, if you're uh, waiting for it, it might be in a little while. For now, I'm going to stop. I will see you in the next one. Uh, and well, goodbye.
so many things to do again.